Hey folks, welcome back to The Shed. In this video, we're gonna go over the basics of the UI. This little unit here is the way I interact with the Arctroid. It has everything you need to cut files, create files, send files, save files, and adjust your machine. First button you always wanna press when you start up is home. It will go through a little dance, and that gives you your reference points for future drawing. Also wanna change your orientation. So this, this represents the Arctroid and changes your orientation, whether I'm standing in front or standing behind. In this case, I'm standing in front, so I want the Arctroid at the top. You can zoom in using the side of the, the screen, just simply scroll up and down on the left-hand side and pan about by touching and holding. Next button you need to worry about is zero. You want a start point over here, you move to where you want to start, you hit zero, and it will move the start point. If you want to reset to machine reference, you push and hold and it takes it back to the center. Trace will take you to the trace screen. Here's where you do most of your work. In this case, you also have your zero set point again, and then you can do things like circles. In this case, push the button, brings up a dialogue where you can type position, size, whether or not you want to cut on the left or the right of the, of the circle. Rectangles, roughly the same, same thing. Brings up a dialogue, size, width, length, angle, left or right cut. In the case of straight lines and squiggles, you can go point to point, so click individual points on whatever it is you're tracing, and then double click when you're finished, and it'll even close the polygon for you, and you can still zoom and pan in order to see what you're doing. Once you've created a file and you want to edit the previous one, you can actually go in and delete individual segments or go back and edit previous the previous um, uh, polygon that you did. So once you've got a file that you're happy with, simply plug in a USB drive, hit save, and it'll save it for re reuse later. From here, the only thing you need to worry about is settings. These will be individual to your plasma cutter, feed, clearance heights, kerf, all of those things are new things you're gonna need to experiment to get right. Back to the main screen, from here, you're gonna to want to run the file. In this case, you'll see I have the, the, the stylus still plugged in. I need to unplug that. Currently, the torch is disabled. You can use that as a dry run so that you can run the file without having to cut. If you want to enable the torch, simply touch that button, and now you're hot. Run, that's an easy one. Hit run and it starts running your file. It'll initially probe and start cutting. If you want to stop at any time, just push stop. If you're running and you want to pause for one reason or another, you can simply push the pause button and it will finish whatever motion that it's on and pause without turning everything off and you can restart when you require. At any time when you're doing a, when you're doing a cut like this, if you want to change your parameters, you simply hit tune and it brings you back up to this and you can change your feeds and speeds to match whatever it is you're doing. Settings, that's an important one for the machine itself. And here you have the option of calibrating, changing machine settings such as steps per millimeter and current. I wouldn't touch that unless you're an advanced user. Recalibrating the touch screen, entering manual G code using a terminal. So if you want to enter a G code command, you can. Setting the date and time and changing your default file name. Last important button on the screen, this little one here. That's an emergency stop. Push that, machine will completely reset and everything will shut down. The knob has two functions. One, it operates as a scroll knob for your Z, so you can scroll up and down, and it also has a button on that acts the same as the button on the stylus. So there you go, everything you need to know about the user interface and how to make the ArcDroid cut cool stuff for you.